In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys one of the craziest Blender Roblox plugins I've ever seen. So, basically what happened was, Bloxy News tweeted out about a new plugin for Blender, and what it does is, you create models in Blender, and then from Blender, you can upload them directly to Roblox without having to leave Blender. So without further ado, let me show you guys how it's done. So, I'll leave this link in the description down below. So what you need to do here is click code and download zip. I already downloaded the zip, so I'm not gonna do this part. After you download the zip, you wanna open up Blender and then go up to edit. Now click edit and go down to preferences. Now go to add-ons and press install. From here, you can go to your downloads and select Roblox Blender Plugin Main. Once it's installed, press the search button and just search up Roblox and this should pop up right here. I can uncheck it real quick and check it again and this is the plugin. Now you can close this tab right here and press N and this sidebar pops up. If it doesn't automatically pop to the Roblox tab, just the scroll down these and click the Roblox section. Now what you want to do is log in. So press log in and open up your browser. When you click it, it'll pop up this tab right here and you continue with your account or you can change your account. Now when you scroll down it's going to tell you what this plugin can do. So there's a moderate risk level as it can upload assets to your account and there's a low risk level because it gets information about your account assets. So just know, just know this. So you scroll down and select what account you want to use it for. I want to select my account, Mr. Squeege. Now continue and now it's telling me what access it gets. So you guys can pause to read this real quick. Uh, confirm and give access. Six and a half hours later. Now once you go with the blender, you should be logged in. And what you want to do is select whatever object you want to upload. So I'm going to just select this cube right here and press upload. And now if you haven't already, open up Roblox Studio. Once you're in Studio, now open up the toolbox and go over to this inventory section and I'm already here but what you need to do is go to my packages so just click this drop down menu my packages and import the cube that I imported from earlier so you click it and now your cube is here now the last step you need to do is click on the cube and go to package link go to properties and check auto update now let me go back to Blender real quick, and I'm gonna just go into edit mode, and extrude, and make this part small. Let's see what happens. So, press upload. Uploading, uploaded version. And now as you can see, our cube has changed. Just to make sure you guys can tell that this is real, I'm gonna go and side by side. Um, let's see, what should I do? I'll just extrude again from this side. Make it like that. Upload. Uploading. And now you can see in Roblox it just automatically changes. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, but don't just click off yet. Um, there was only one slight problem I had with this, and that is when I go over to it. Sometimes when you import a model from Blender, it's like half of it looks like it's open. And the normal solution for that is just to make it double-sided. But when you go into the cube, you try to make it double-sided. It says this. So it says modifying packages will prevent you from updating, updating them until you publish or revert the changes. So basically what this means is like, if I, do change it to double sided, I can't edit it no longer. So if you guys have any solutions for this, please let me leave it down in the comments down below. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.